All right, y'all. My bad. I had to turn the microphone on. But you see where we at. Anime Defenders. Anime Vanguards is going to be better. I'm not even going to lie. I'm just a big Vanguards hater. But, um, it's it looks pretty nice. I'll say that much. It looks decent. So we got the Thunder Shinobi. That's a Kari for that secret. Luckily for me, the first unit that they gave me, you know, for that little free summon was Sanji. So that's a plus. And then I already got a legendary. So we just fit to hop into a story mode real quick. And yeah, see what this is all about. Dang. Okay, never mind. It was only six chapters. This looked like a lot to me. Firm and start. Let's do these. That chair was too squeaky. When I was sitting in. All right. We are in. Have 500 yen to start off with. Okay, we spawn here. Hello? Okay. Let's see. Place. Yeah, um, unlock the camera. <laughs> Jeez, why is that an option? Skip wave. Like like every other tower defense game, we're just gonna put it on auto skip. Auto skip wave. Alright. So Sanji. Seven damage every five seconds with sixteen range. I don't know why I'm speaking like Mr. Rhino. We're just gonna place down our Ice Admiral right here. Right here, yep. So 56 damage every five and a half seconds with 18.7 range. Pretty nice, pretty nice. Upgrade him, upgrade Sanji. And then I don't know who this is. I, I think it's Ace. It looks like Ace. I think it's Ace. <laughs> <laughs> this boy look like Ace, so I'm gonna just say that it's him. And then boom. Sorry if you guys hear me breathing a lot. I'm congested. This um, summer, and also I'm feeling the after effects of spring. So allergies are kicking my ass. Anyway, upgrade. He gets Ice Spear Thrust. Turns into a Line AOE. 238 damage every 7 seconds with 21 range. Dang. It's not all that good. Everyone else in the circle AOE, though. Gotta get some more cash, guys. Come on. Colonel Commander, 45. 6 seconds, 16 range. Nothing crazy. I do wonder what these hearts mean. And we can dash? We can dash in this hoe. Alright. Let's see, let's see. Hmm. Oh, I like the little mob count that it has. 11 mobs, I like that. Okay. 3,000. I saw in like, I think it was Toad Boy Gaming's video that Ice Admiral eventually becomes full AOE. But with like a really huge, like, like a really long SPA. So, I'm just waiting to get that upgrade. I don't even have a money unit yet. By the way, guys, when you see this video, there's only one code, and it and that one code may be expired by the time that you see this video. So um, just make sure that you play the game before that time, and you should be good. Anyways, they are kind of getting through. They are kind of getting through. Bop. Bop. <laughs> Okay, yep, see, as expected, he's doing burn. Hmm. Why are they so expensive? How does his rage shrink and he goes to full AoE? How does that work? No, like, just pure how? Whatever. So we have Heat Strike. Can I upgrade him? Okay, Line AoE. Doing 88 damage. Oh, Jesus. And just sends a flaming kick of air at them. All right. <sighs> I mean... Why are their SBAs so long? They're epics. 
I can at least somewhat understand for Aokiji, but still, 11 seconds is outrageous. And then with Ace, like, once again, I get that he's an epic, but if you're going to make his rage 11.1 with a 7 second SPA, how is that going to work? Like, seriously. How? Like, what are your plans? I guess I still haven't placed everyone yet, so... I just gotta do that. Where can I... We can and not place. So, boom. Boom. I think that's the best of aces. Okay, man. There isn't even a plane next to me. Once again, I'm going to say, I am going to say this, Anime Vanguard is simply just going to be the better game. How do they not even have a play next button? I just need to know how they don't even have. And there is barely any quests. Wow, okay, yeah. And I'm not gonna lie, this game is not saying the best with me right now. I'm gonna be entirely honest. This game is seeming like it's winding up to be something that needs a lot of new things. Chapter two, start. Okay, I'm gonna have my mic muted for a second.
Alright. Sorry guys, my Mimi came down here. I'm pretty sure you heard him heard her in the previous recording. But yeah. Why this house slanted? Oh dang. It's like a rupture or something. Hmm. Anyway. No more commentation on the map design. Which is actually pretty decent. I will say that much. It's actually pretty nice. Can I swim? Oh, I'm just Jesus. Wait in the water. Alright, I'm done with my little solo. Pop back up on land here and um we seem to be fine. Okay, is it just me or does this guy remind you guys of Unalak from The Legend of Korra, if you ever watched that? I don't know why, but this reminds me of Unalak. Or Zonrock, whatever his name was. It reminds me of him. Iceberg. See, here's the full AoE move. 11 seconds, 400 damage. Why? For a legendary? If it's a legendary... Just don't. No point. Wait. That's a trait on him. Swift. It was like swift too? Let me inspect my units, man. Let me inspect. No, that's not. No. Hey. I'm just trying to expect my units. Well, at least there's a leave game option for people that are just mm, fed up. I'm gonna be honest, guys. This game is pretty alright. This game is pretty alright. But in my opinion, this is just my personal opinion. I say we wait for anime fan cards. This is just my. That's just my personal opinion. I say that we wait for vanguards. Because I have a very strong feeling that Vanguard is going to be the replacement for anime adventures and overrun this game. I'm telling you. Anime Vanguard has had the most growth with, uh, with their sneaks, their exact replica of anime adventures, and everything similar to it with their own little twists like sub trades, whatnot, the little star, the little ascension thing, so we could actually do something with dupes. I'm telling you, it's gonna be anime vanguards that overruns the tower defense community and becomes the um, what's it called, successor of anime adventures. I'm telling you, okay, now why are you planning a windmill like this? I was trying not to say nothing, but a slanted windmill into a slanted house, nothing else is destroyed. I mean, look, you just you're just placing houses. Still no fucking play next button. So I have to manually return to lobby. Some ass. That's all it is. 25 gems. Mmm boy. Hmm. Alright, we're gonna go do one more. Gonna go do one more little play thing and then after that we should have enough to do a, a multi summon so we'll see what we get out of that one multi summon the bigger best unlock the camera why do i have to keep doing that can't the just camera be automatically unlocked why do i want a locked camera what am i supposed to do with that like I wanna, I wanna know. Just a place it. Play. I can't even speak right. Oh my god. The hating is taking over my body, guys. The hating is taking over my body. But it's just, dang. There are a lot of annoyances that I'm currently finding with this game. There are just a lot of annoyances that I am currently finding with this game. So. I'm probably not gonna play this game too much, 
I mean, it's the it's really the only other tower defense game except for Anime Last Stand that we have right now. So unfortunately, this is gonna be my best option. So I'm just gonna play this. I'm just gonna play it. I well, got nothing else better to do. What do you mean can't place a unit here? <sighs> okay, I think it's a maximum of five, so we go go right here. So we back. It just, it just looks like Unalak. This is supposed to be Aokiji, and I get that they don't want copyright. But, nigga. Alright, hold up. This, this is the best replica to Sanji that I've ever seen. So I would be surprised if they didn't get copyrighted. But, then again, looks nothing like the actual characters, so I guess they're safe. Which, that's been a complaint about people just not liking the character models of this game. Let's understand that they don't want to get copyrighted. That's how Anime Adventures got taken down. And we all missed that game. But, I mean... It has 80k players right now. But within a week... Within a week, I feel like it's just going to drop down to, like, 40k. Which is still pretty good. I mean, Anime Adventures always had a consistent 40k players. So if that drops, I feel like it should be pretty alright. Skip wave. Iceberg. This trash ass full AOE. I need a money unit. I need like Boma or something. I just need someone. It's like, dude. Yeah, everyone is so expensive. I can't even imagine what the mythicals would be like being this expensive. This is like ridiculous. I hear a dog barking in the distance. I think he's calling out to the devs of Anime Vanguards to drop their game. Because we need it released immediately. <sighs> we need it released immediately. Come on. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Well, I didn't even get to see their models. Okay, pretty standard. Can't even hate on that. I mean, what else are you supposed to do with it? So, you know, whatever. I'm not gonna lie. I'm kind of upset that Anime Vanguards dropped the final trailer, and then they have a gameplay trailer which will be followed up by the release date. That's kind of stupid.
All right, we back. My annoying ass uncle just came down here, so I had to mute my mic. Anyway, last summon. Let's see if we can maybe get the mythical or possibly the secret. Nope, we got an epic Frost Reaper. This is Rukia, I'm assuming. That's Gray. That's Zoro. They changed the models from the testing demo. Natsu. And yeah, that's all we got. How unfortunate. Anyway, that's gonna be it for this video on this pretty mid game. I'm just gonna be honest. I'm just thoroughly disappointed. Just thoroughly just disappointed. With all especially with all the hype that this game received. Just for it to it doesn't even have a play next button. So you have to leave, return to the lobby, and then go back into the story mode for you to even play the next one. So I'm not gonna lie, this game it's all right but i personally i'm just gonna wait for anime vanguards to release but anyways that's just gonna be it for this video and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace